So once again, uh, welcome to our home. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas. Very happy that you're here. So I was thinking about this earlier before we pray. I was thinking when I was running on the treadmill, which is when I do my best thinking. Um, you know, 2020 has been a, probably one of the most challenging years that I've, I've ever seen. And, you know, there's many people that have suffered greatly this year, whether it be um, through illness or whether it be through financial hardships or whatever it might be, it's been a really, really difficult year. And there's a lot of uncertainty. And, um, you know, some people would say that maybe this isn't a time that's filled with hope. And there's been a lot of these seasons in life over the years. But um, I was watching a program last night and they were talking about Bethlehem, which is you know, the place where Jesus was born. And they were showing the little place where you know, the manger set where he would have been uh, laid in the manger and where his mother actually had the birth. And they were talking about that town that used to be very, very populated with Christians is now more populated with people of the Muslim faith than they are in Christianity. And it made me think about the way that our society is today that, you know, people are less and less interested in the things of religion or the things of faith. And I don't know how any of you believe, so don't take this as a sermon or anything like that. But the point of Christmas is that it is a season of hope. And, you know, I, I kept hearing that song in my mind, you know. Oh, hear the angels' voices. Oh, night divine. Oh, when Christ was born. And that song just kept playing over and over in my head when I was thinking about, you know, it's a time where there's not much hope and people are feeling frustrated and all of the anger and viciousness that's going on in our society. And I kept hearing that song. Oh, hear the angels' voices. That even all those years ago, 2,000 years ago, that those shepherds that were in that field and they saw the star in the heavens on that cold Christmas morning, they heard those angels' voices singing. It was a time of hope. It was a time of inspiration. And if there's ever a point in time where we should think about that when we say grace over this Christmas meal, it would be now. There's hope. There's love. There's peace. There's joy. And it only comes from one source, right? Right? But every one of us have to embrace that hope and take it into whatever domain you populate, you know, whether it be at work or wherever it's at, when you see people hurting, be that source of hope, that source of light. Because our society isn't what you see on TV, it's what we live out in our lives every day. So hear the angels' voices. <laughs> because it was a remarkable night when Christ was born, hope was born, forgiveness was born. There is a way that surpasses all the human understanding to get through all this darkness that we see in our society. And I just really felt like I wanted to share that with you this morning, this mm -hmm. afternoon. So thank you for listening to me. And I hope that you will sing that song because it was a night divine. No matter how you believe, uh, there is hope, there is love, and there is joy. And we can experience that today in this house. I hope you feel it. Uh, and I hope when you go into your workplaces and the other people that you intermingle with, stop on the sidewalk, you see someone who looks sad or discouraged, stop and say something to them. Say hello. Love people. Because our world needs uh, that great joy that Christ brought into the world. So that's all I have to say about that. So, <laughs> Dear Praise Heavenly Father, we come before you today on the day that we're going to celebrate Christmas together as a family. And I'm just so excited that all of these wonderful people have decided to come here to share the Christmas joy with me and my wife and our home. And I pray, Father, that everyone that enters this house feels your love and feels your joy and the hope that they hear the angel voices, O night divine, 
And we're thankful for Christ. We're thankful for the birth of your son. We thank you for the forgiveness and the hope and the joy that that great message, those glad tidings bring into our world. We ask you to bless this food, to nourish our bodies. I pray over everyone who's in this house right now that 2021 will be a new season of hope, a new season of prosperity, a new hope of things they never thought that they would experience. They will love more, will laugh more, and will rejoice in the life that we have. And we thank you for all of your bountiful blessings. In your precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Very nice, Dan. That was, that was amazing. That was Very nice. Yeah, that was good. I love you.